Hi, Dr. Majena. Today, we are going to discuss on Chapter 11, Nuclear and Particle Physics. So in this video, we are going to discuss on 11.1, Body Energy and Mass Defect. The equation that we will use in this subtopic is Mass Defect, Delta M equals to the number of proton times mass of the proton plus number of neutron times mass of the neutron minus the mass of nucleus. Okay, so if let's say the, and the questions didn't give us mass of the nucleus, Okay, we can find it by using mass of atom minus number of proton times mass of the electron. Okay, meaning okay, next is the body energy. So the body energy equation is E equals to delta mc squared. Okay, so let's start with example one. Calculate the body energy of the aluminum nucleus in Lenka electron group. Okay, so from the equation here, we notice the aluminium is actually consists of 13 of proton plus 14 of neutron. Okay, so the first step is we need to find the mass defect first. Delta M is equal to 13 mass of the proton plus 14 mass of the neutron minus mass of the aluminum nucleus. Okay, but the questions actually give us the atomic mass. Okay, so we can find the mass of the nucleus. Mass so of the nucleus, we can use mass of the atom minus 13 mass of the electron because nucleus only involve proton and neutron without electron okay so mass of the atom here is given 26.98154 u minus 13 mass of the electron where the mass of the electron here is equal to 5.49 exponent negative 4 u okay therefore mass of the nucleus we will get 26. 974403U. Okay, so we substitute back. Okay, so 13 of mass of the proton is equal to 1.007277U plus 14 mass of the neutron, where the mass of the neutron is equal to 1.008665U. Then minus mass of the nucleus 26.974403U. So the final answer for the mass defect, we will get 0.241508U. Okay, so next is to find the body energy. So body energy is equal to delta mc squared. Since the question asks us to uh, write the answer in mega electron volt, therefore, we will convert 0.241508U, okay? The value U here, we will change it become 931.5 mega electron volt over C square. And remember, we still have C square. So later, C square will cancel off, okay? So the final answer for the body energy we will get is 224.96 mega electron volt. Okay, next, example 2. Calculate the body energy per nucleon of a boron nucleus in Joule per nucleon. Okay, so boron here is actually consists of five proton and also five neutron. So we can use the equation delta M equals to five times mass of the proton plus five multiplied with the mass of the neutron minus mass of the nucleus. Okay. And we observe that actually the questions give us the atomic mass. Okay, therefore we need to find the mass of the nucleus. Okay, by using mass of the atom minus five mass of the electron. Okay, so the substitute mass of the atomic is equal to ten point zero one two nine four u minus five times the mass of the electron, where is equal to five point four nine exponent negative four u. Therefore, mass of the nucleus is equal to 10.010195 u. Okay, then we substitute back. Okay, 5 times mass of the proton, 1.007277 u plus mass of the neutron, 1.008665 u minus mass of the nucleus, where mass of the nucleus is 10.010195 u. Therefore, the mass defect is equal to 0.069515 u. Okay, so since the question says us to write the answer in Joule per nucleon, therefore u we will convert it into kg. 
Okay, where 1U is actually equal to 1.66 exponent negative 19 kg. Okay, so we will convert it into kg 0.069515U times 1.66 exponent negative 19. Okay, therefore we will get 1.15 exponent negative 28 kg. Okay, so after converting into kg, we can use the by the energy equations delta mc squared. Okay, where delta m is 1.15 exponent negative 28, c is the speed of light 3 exponent 8 squared. Okay, therefore we will get 1.035 exponent negative 11. Okay, where the question asks us to find the binding energy per nucleon. Okay, so we need to divide by the number of nucleon by 1.035 exponent negative 11 over number of nucleon is 10. Okay, so the final answer for the binding energy per nucleon is 1.035 exponent negative 12 joule per nucleon. Okay, okay next is example 3. Okay, why is the uranium is less stable than the carbon 12 nucleus? Give your explanation by referring to the repulsive coulomb force and the binding energy per nucleon. Okay, so in order to check the stability, okay, actually we need to use the binding energy per nucleon no? because we know that it's actually directly proportional to the stability. Okay, if the binding energy per nucleon is higher, meaning that the nucleus is stable. So we need to check the binding energy per nucleon for uranium and also for carbon. Okay, so we will check for uranium first when delta n for uranium. Okay, for uranium actually we have uh, 92 of proton. Okay, for uranium we have 92 proton plus 238 minus 92 is actually equals to 146 mass of the neutron minus mass of the nucleus. Again, the questions give us the atomic mass of the uranium. Okay, the atomic mass of the uranium. So we need to use, okay, we need to find the mass of the nucleus okay, by using mass of atom minus 92 mass of electron. Okay, so it's 238.05079 minus 92 multiplied with the mass of the electron, okay, which is equal to 5.49 exponent negative 4u. Therefore, mass of the nucleus for uranium is equal to 238.00082u. Okay, so we substitute in 92 mass of the proton 1.007277u plus 146 multiply with 1.008665u minus mass of the nucleus here is 238.000282u therefore the data mass for the uranium is equal to 1.934292u okay so remember don't roll off okay because this is not the final answer yet then later we will use the delta m to find the value energy per nucleon okay where Binding energy is equal to delta mc squared. Okay, so we can substitute in 1.934292u, where u I will convert it into mega electron volt. So 1u is actually equal to 931.5 mega electron volt per c squared. Okay, so I will substitute in 931.5 mega electron volt per c squared. And remember, there's another c squared. So little c squared, it actually will cancel off each other over the number of nucleon where the total number of the number of nucleon is 238 okay so the binding energy for uranium is 7.57 mega electron volt per nucleon okay okay next we want to check the number of binding energy per nucleon for the um, carbon okay so for carbon okay for carbon okay it actually consists of six proton and also six neutron Okay. So delta M is equal to 6 mass of the proton plus 6 mass of the neutron minus mass of the nucleus. Okay, so again, uh, the questions uh, didn't give us the mass of the nucleus, but they do give us the atomic mass of the carbon. Okay, so we must use the equations of atomic mass minus 6 mass of the electron to find the mass of the nucleus. Okay, so the atomic mass value for the carbon is 12.0000 okay, 0, 0 minus 6 mass of the electron where the mass of the electron is equal to 
5.49 exponent negative 4 u. Okay, therefore, the mass of the nucleus is equal to 238.000. Mass of atomic is 12.000000 minus 6 mass of the electron. So finally, the mass of the nucleus for carbon is equal to 11.996706 u. Okay. So, 6 mass of the proton, when mass of the proton is equal to 1.007277 u plus 6 mass of the neutron, 1.008665 u minus mass of the nucleus, 11.996706 u. Okay. Therefore, delta M is equal to 0 0.098946 u. Okay, so again, I will convert U become mega electron volt okay, by multiplying with 931.5 mega electron volt per C squared. Okay, so E per A, binding energy per nucleon, is equal to delta M C squared over number of nucleon, where M is 0 0.098946 U. Okay, so U is 931.5 mega electron volt over C squared. And remember, there's another C squared, so later it will cancel off. Okay, so if I say you don't want to write C square, also can. Huh? Okay, you can straight away write 0 0.098949 multiply with 931.5 mega electron volt. Okay, and the number of nucleon for the carbon is 12. So the final answer for the binding energy per nucleon for carbon is 7.68 mega electron volt per nucleon. Okay, so if you compare both, okay, if you compare uh, the binding energy per nucleon, okay, for the uranium is 7.57 for carbon is 7.68 so we can write binding energy per nucleon for carbon is actually greater than binding energy for uranium okay, therefore carbon is is more stable than uranium okay because e over a for carbon is higher So that's all for this video. We'll continue with the next video. Radio activity.